What's going on YouTube? It's Jacob with Total Barber and welcome back to another video. Now this video is a little different. Um, you know, I kind of got a desire to uh, share with you um, some, I wouldn't say tips, but some of the things I've learned as I started this YouTube journey um, with equipment. And, uh, you know, and if you're a barber um, that is interested in maybe taking photos of your pictures, uh, you might want to make videos to post on YouTube or even the new platform we have, IGTV. Um, you know, I would love to share with you some budget ways to do that. Some inexpensive things you can get that work great that, uh, you know, can help you uh, begin that journey so um as we jump into this video man i hope you guys enjoy it and if you're new to this channel uh total barber is basically anything barbering you know we talk about tool reviews uh shows we go over some haircut tutorials and this video as well as where i will share with you a budget way to get the best pictures of your haircuts and maybe to even record your haircuts with some amazing quality video. So let's jump into the video. All right, so let's jump into this. Now, as I started to um, be interested in YouTube and to get on this platform, I started to read a lot of things and watch a lot of other youtubers a lot of creators and not necessarily barber creators um i started to watch peter mckinnon which you know he is a videographer amazing um to learn about videos and pictures and just how to get quality stuff um so you know i'm not a professional and just want you guys to know this is just what I've learned in the past couple months and the things I've purchased to try to give quality content for you guys. Um, now everything I purchase, it's not necessarily professional. I try to do it very budget. Um, you know, I work two jobs. I am a family man. I do have a daughter. So my budget isn't that great. So I can't go drop $1,500 on a camera. So, um, you know, as we jump into this, I will go ahead and put all the uh, links to everything I show you. And at any time, go check it out and uh, you can see for yourself, a lot of this stuff is cheap. The most expensive thing I will show you is the camera. And there are alternative ways um, that I'll show you that a lot of times you might already have. All right, guys. So the first thing I want to start off with in this video is the most expensive and that's the camera i use now there are so many good cameras out there um and so many different options and it's basically preference i can liken it to clippers as barbers um there are so many great clippers on the market but what i like might not be what you like and you know i mean i'm sure you've heard the masters are the best and you try it and you might not like them or the fast feeds or you know the seniors and it's all preference so remember that and i'm just going to give you the reasons why i picked this camera now i've gone through a couple cameras i've had a nikon um, and i had a lower level canon um, the canon i had that was a lower level it was the canon rebel t6 and that canon didn't have two things that were major to me the first was the video it, it really wasn't um good for video it the focus on the camera wasn't for video um you know you could only record 10 minutes at a time which was hard if i wanted to do a haircut tutorial I had to set a timer on my phone for about nine minutes and 30 seconds. I had to start the haircut, um, you know, stop, pause the clip, you know, it's, you, you get the picture. So 
it was kind of tough. Um, I managed it in the beginning because that's what I had. Like I said, I don't have a lot of money for these things and that's why I want to show you budget options. So um, the Nikon, when I upgraded to the Nikon, the Nikon's a great camera. You know, I could actually start recording at 20 minutes now length, which was a pretty cool jump. But the autofocus on the Nikon just was not good. Um, it would hunt a lot. Um, and what I mean by hunting is you could see the camera in the video kind of just flicker in and out of focus. So I came across a camera and I did a lot of research and uh, I, I heard about this thing called dual uh, pixel autofocus that Canon had. Now, they only put that in really expensive cameras, like $1,000 or more, and I didn't have $1,000 to spend. Well, a couple years back, Canon released the Canon Rebel SL2. This camera checks every box off in my list, um, and it's a budget camera. It's not a super expensive camera. You can get this camera with a lens for $599. So that's pretty cheap and it has dual pixel autofocus. You don't ever have to worry about, you know, uh, focusing on somebody or if your camera is in focus or out of focus, you don't have to worry about that. Um, it has tracking, so it'll fit, track your face. It has an external mic jack, so you can get really good quality, just like this lapel mic. Um, I mean, it checks all the boxes off. It has a flip out screen. So if you want to vlog, you can vlog. It even has a touch screen to where you can touch where you want your camera to focus. Um, so this camera right here is phenomenal. Now, some of you might not be able to spend $500, $600 on a camera. So, I mean, another good option but it's, obviously it's not going to be as good as actually having a dslr that you can switch lenses um and do all kinds of crazy stuff with like the lens that it comes with you know it, it's good but it's not the greatest but you can pick up a 24 millimeter lens that is great wide angle lens great for uh, vlogging it gives you the blurry background for 130 dollars and you can also pick up the 50 millimeter lens, which is amazing for portraits. So if you're trying to take a picture of your haircut, this camera will give you, this lens will give you the best picture for your haircut that you can have at the price at $120. So that's why I like DSLRs. Um, they're, they're just so versatile and you know, you, you have the body of the camera and each lens can give you a different feel for um, different things that you might want to do. Now, the next option, um, and obviously it's not as great as that one, like I said, um, you, can, you can get a GoPro. Um, GoPros are great. The quality are amazing. Um, this is the GoPro Hero 4 Silver. Um, and you can't, I mean, you can't complain about it. The only, the only thing I would say is you can't change the lens. So basically you can't change the feel of the camera ever. Um, you're just going to basically record in good quality, um, at a fisheye view. Now you can do like a medium view, but you also do lose some quality. But another plus to these is you can record in places that you normally can't record in. Um, so this will work. And I mean, you can pick up this probably used for $120 and start with it. I know I've watched people on YouTube, uh, videographers that just use GoPro. So, and the new ones are like $399 and they shoot 4K, they shoot this one shoots 60 frames per second, which is phenomenal. Um, you can get really good slow motion out of that. So being you know, new to it, that might be a good option. Now, the cheapest option I would say for a barber is just use your phone. 
most of us have amazing phones they can record really good quality video and take amazing pictures most of those pictures you see online with the blurred out background and the haircuts you know defined are probably used with a new iPhone or a new Galaxy phone. Uh, matter of fact, I'm recording this video on my Galaxy S9 because you know I wanted to make sure I could show you guys my DSLR. This is what I normally record on. So the quality is great and that's free basically. So all you would have to do is get your hands on a tripod and you know an adapter for your phone to sit on a tripod. All right, so that is three ways that you can start recording. Um, and really, they are budget. I know the DSLR is an expensive option, but it is the best option. And uh, if you have the money, I would suggest to get a DSLR. Um, it definitely is worth the money and will pay for itself. And if you do decide to get a DSLR, um, you know, there are some really, really cheap options to upgrade it even more, meaning, I mean, uh, external microphones, the microphones in most DSLRs suck. I mean, they really suck. So, um, you can get a cheap microphone that is halfway decent. Now this is the tax tax star. $30 shotgun mic it plugs right in your camera and uh, it actually just slides up on here like this just like that and plugs in the side and this gives you great audio um, now this lapel mic also plugs right into the side it's not wireless or anything this is a cheap lapel mic um, it probably costs 10 or 15 dollars and you guys can hear the quality of the audio now it's not going to be perfect because it is cheap so um but it's a lot better than just the phone audio or your camera audio another option would be this microphone now this is the rode video micro this one um i think it goes for 50 or 60 dollars something like that um and sometimes you can get it in bundles when you buy a camera and things like that and this microphone is amazing um, if you got this microphone you wouldn't have to worry about audio so again cheap ways to start a YouTube channel as a barber and not stress about getting the best stuff all you have to do is research and then a couple other things that you can do if you wanted to um, do videos like this one set up um, and have a little studio type and have good quality audio um, with your camera and you don't necessarily have to set your audio on your camera and have it you know 10 feet away from you because you want that shotgun mic to be as close as possible now this thing I hope you guys can see it. It is just basically a microphone stand. I got it on Amazon for $15. And basically you just hang it right out of frame, microphone down and you know, have a little extension, which you can get auxiliary cord extension for $5 and you have a great audio setup for your studio. Now, um, lighting, you can also get pretty darn cheap lighting. Um, now, I want to go ahead and switch cameras. I got the GoPro running, and I want to show you a cheap lighting thing. So, this here is just a regular old light. Let me see if I can get a better angle without it being too bright it's three lights with led bulbs and what you see on top of it is just um a piece of fabric that i got on amazon for ten dollars and uh you know i mean it's called a it's like a light diffuser thing i got it clipped on and it softens the light you don't want hard shadows so there i already had that light at home 
stole it from the wife and I clipped that to it and it gave me really good light. Now, if you uh, want to light up your clients, if you want to do a haircut tutorial, there are things called ring lights. Now, those will run about $100 that you can set up that most barbers use when they do a haircut tutorial. Um, this here is the light I use. This is basically, um, this is a five in one diffuser, which are $10 and then that is a tiny little light there that is, I think, 20 bucks that you can get and it hooks on top of your camera and you can um, shoot with that on top of your camera. I, that's how I record every single one of my haircut tutorials is with that tiny light. So there are so many options out there to get started for super cheap. Um, I hope this video helped you in some way and uh, I really really hope that um, you if you have a desire to be a creator and you just think I'm just a barber you know what um, barbering is an amazing thing and there are so many avenues that you can use for barbering that um, if you enjoy photography or videography or anything like that um, jump out there and do it who cares what people say um you can do it really cheap and have a blast at it there is also a video editing software it's called resolve beta davinci resolve beta now it is a professional video editing software it works great and they give you a free version the purchase version is like a thousand dollars but you use a free version you basically have everything you can do on the purchase one um at your fingertips now you can't do everything obviously but for me and you starting out as creators there's plenty you can edit your videos edit your audio you can color grade your videos I mean if you really wanted to get into this you can do it really really cheap so um, that is basically everything I use for this um, so, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope I've helped you out in some way. Um, as barbers, we need to be presenting our work out there. That's how people see if you're good or not, if they want to come to you or not. And uh, nowadays, social media is one of the biggest uh, promoters for a barber. So it's all visual so you post your pictures your haircuts and really um you can get great clients you know i've had i've had friends of mine that found out i was going to barber school wouldn't come get a haircut from me until they started seeing some of my haircuts online the pictures i post and then finally came and gave me a shot now i've always said this it doesn't matter if you think you're the best barber or not doesn't matter if another barber that has a hundred thousand followers on social media says they're the best barber does not matter because if you are renting a chair cutting hair and have regulars that sit in your chair that text you wanting haircuts that don't go to anyone else but you you are the best barber to those clients so and that's all that matters the other barbers with a hundred thousand followers aren't paying your bills those clients are the other barbers with hundred thousand followers aren't faithful to you the those clients are so don't worry about what anyone says and you just do you if you want to create then create save a little money start with your phone get this lapel mic plugs right into my phone get a little LED light bulb and plug it into your lamp and start creating. I want to know what you guys know. I want to get more knowledge through you guys. And I continually watch YouTube and continually learn. It's all about learning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I really appreciate all the support 
and I hope you guys stay tuned for the next video. And again, if you are new to this channel and you love barbering, smash that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Appreciate it and stay tuned to the next video.